Hi, I'm Jim and once again I'm here with Sengwi. Today, actually, you may not know this, I've shot a few videos with Sengwi. Sengwi is actually still a relatively new agent, I would say about three years in this industry. So for any of you who are thinking of wanting to join this line as a real estate salesperson, I have him here who can answer some of the key questions. If you're watching and you're thinking about being a new RES, how's the process like? Is it difficult? Because I hear on the street some people think it's very difficult to be a new RES these days. It's definitely not easy. Um, very much you have to pass your RES exam first before you can even practice as a real estate salesperson. How long did it take you? Uh, it took me about three years and then it happened during COVID. So um, I actually failed my exam four times and passed only on the fifth trial, uh, on the fifth try. Right. <clears throat> when, you, when you wanted to take the course, do you feel like there were a lot of course providers? Was it difficult to choose which is a better course provider? How do you make that selection? So during that time when I was looking through all the course provider, there were only a handful um, and then of which a few of them are more recommended by the, the uh, friends and so on. So I, I chose those that is um, very uh, highly recommended. A full-time course where I have to attend lesson and training over a period of about two months and then you go for the exam. So with that, you are prep up for the exam and prior to the exam, we do have a few test session before we go in for the full exam. Wow, so a full-time course is about two months, right? Um, one thing, this course actually you can claim your skills future. So if you still have skills future credit, it's quite useful to actually use them for this course. I know actually a lot of people who use the skills, skills future, do you? Yes, not just skills future, we do have the <coughs> some of the course provider. You can use your UTEP fund to go for the exam and it can be offset quite a, quite a bit, fair bit from that exam um, course fee. Okay, so actually the cost fee is really quite reasonable if you're looking to undertake this new career as an RES. Um, what about the exams? I understand that uh, there were some tweaks in the exams, maybe from about five times a year to now, I think it's only about maybe two to three times. Same way, did you have the experience? Were you aware um, at the time? I think there's only about three or four times exam uh, given per year, and of which during my time, it was during COVID. So there was like a lot of exam being postponed. And a lot of us, the, the, the applicant actually snowball and um, it is really by interest who is first come, I mean, which is first come, first serve basis. So a lot of us are not able to even get a chance to sit for the exam. So that's the reason why after failing the, the, a few times, it's really difficult to get in for the next exam. And you do know that we, our course period can expire before the exam and you need to resit for the whole course again before you sit for the exam. Got it. You mentioned you took four years. Uh, three years, four times. And I, I passed I on the fifth. Got it. So did you have to retake the course since you exceeded the two years? Uh, no. So there was a six-month waiver for me. So on my last exam, it was the last one that I had to pass before I could, uh, before I need to receive again. Okay. So it sounds like the RES exam isn't that straightforward. Even, I mean, someone like you with many years of experience, you know, you can, there's a potential that you might fail many times, okay? Okay, so for anyone who's looking to join this journey as a, to become a full-fledged RES, what do you recommend them to do now? So there are many course provider in the market. So choose one that you, that you are comfortable with. If not, find someone from OT. I think from Orange Tea, we have an internship program that will actually map you out the whole of this um, RES training. And then it, you can actually get subsidies at the end of the exam when you passed it. Okay, great. So this is his experience, uh, Singwee's experience, and he's been with Orange Tea uh, with us now for coming close to three years. Like you said, we do have that internship program where we do have free revision lessons and we even subsidize you. We, in fact, return you your course fees and exam fees if you pass and come on board with us as an agent, right? If you'd like to find out more, as usual, feel free to contact any of us. Our links are all in my YouTube description.